Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Today I want us to get to see how to write your friendly letters in German. All right? Willkommen, please get yourself a book and a pen. Let's get into it. So first things first, letters in Germany, we call them die Briefe. Die Briefe. Now this one is normally one of the tested uh, papers that is under the Schreiben paper. Now today I want us to see the format and the structure by which uh, a friendly letter will be written as, okay? So how do you call a friendly letter in German? Now a friendly letter is referred to as ein freundlicher Brief. Ein freundlicher Brief, which means a friendly letter, okay? So as you know very well, a friendly letter is usually addressed to friends, okay? We normally write it when addressing friends, uh, relatives, people close to you, and also people you are uh, familiar with. As you know, you can also call it an informal letter or an official letter, okay? So because this one is addressed to the people you are used to, people you are familiar with, yeah? So we normally use the do form when writing this type of letter because... You know, they are friends, they are family members, you know, people you are very close to, people you are intimate with. So for this one, we normally use the do form when writing this type of letter. So how about the format? Now, this is the structure of how your friend letter is going to look like. Now, the first thing you need to pay attention to is mostly they begin with the, day, uh, the, the, the town in which you are. You normally begin with the town in which you are. And, and this one is normally written away from the margin. That is on the left, I mean, on your right-hand side, away from the margin, okay? Uh, for example, I could say uh, the town that I'm in is Kisumu. That is Kisumu, and then comma, and then the date on which you're writing the, the, the letter, okay? So you first of all write the town, which is, for example, Kisumu, and then comma, and then the date, that date of that particular day. In my case, I would say, Den, uh, und ten, for example, 26th, yeah? So Kizumu comma den and then Zex und Swansig ten December Zwei thousand ein und zwanzig. So that's the first thing. You first of all begin with the town or the place in which you are in. Okay? After that, now you go back to the margin and write the salutation. Now, when writing the salutation, you also need to pay attention. Are you writing to a girl or are you writing to a boy? Are you writing to a male or a female? Because it will uh, greatly impact which uh, choice of uh, endings you will be using, okay? So, the, if you are writing to a lady, that is a female, you will say Libe. It must be capital L. L-I-E-B-E. -E. So, if you are writing to a lady, now I will say Libe, and then the name of the female. But if you are writing to a guy, now you will say Liba. So, if I am writing to a lady, I will say Libe, and then the name of the lady. But if I am writing to a guy, I will now say Liba. All right. I hope we're together up until there. Okay. Uh, some couple of examples. Maybe I want to say Dear Maria because it's a lady. I will say Libe Maria. Libe Maria. And then comma. Don't forget your comma. If it's a guy, I now say Liba with the ER. Liba Peter. Dear Peter. And then you comma. And then you continue. Yeah. But if maybe I'm writing to both Maria and Peter, I would also say Libe Maria and Peter. Dear Maria and uh, Peter, okay? One thing is uh, is sure, you're saying that uh, if I, I, if you're writing to a lady, it now has ending E, Libe, with an E. But if I'm writing to a guy, now it's going to be Liba, with E-R. So pay attention to that, yeah? Libe Maria, dear Maria. Libe Peter, dear Peter. Maybe I want to say, dear Maria and Peter, just say, Libe Maria und Peter, and then comma, dear Maria and Peter, and then you proceed. I could also decide to say, dear Maria, comma, dear Peter. That is, Liebe Maria, comma, Liebe Peter, comma. Still okay. Bottom line is this. If you are writing to a female, you will use Liebe, with an E at the end, yeah? If you are writing to a guy, you will use Liebe, with E-R, all right? Okay, then, uh-huh. So after the salutation, after the salutation, you go back to the margin and then begin your letter. So because this is friendly, a friendly letter, you are free. You can greet the person. You can go ahead and say, 
How are you? You are free. You can greet the person here. Yeah? So after the salutation, we normally begin with a small letter. I would say, for example, V get S D. Yeah? So V get S D. Yeah? Which is how are you? V get S D. Yeah? How are you? Or simply V gets. And then I could say S get me here. Good. I'm fine over here. Okay. And normally in the, the letter or the, in the question, they give you like uh, three points to guide you, okay? As we proceed with this series, I'll be giving us some sample question and also how to go about it, yeah? So today I'm only explaining on the format, but uh, as we proceed with this series on letters, I'll be giving us some question sample and also their possible uh, solution, okay? So remember for the salutation, you go back to the margin and then you begin with a small letter, like in the example, the gates, as get me here, good. I proceed. Ich schreibe weil etc etc. But uh, don't worry. Um, as I've said in the next series that is coming, we'll be seeing some possible questions that they are asking this one and how to write the, the letters. Okay. So you've now seen on the salutation. You've also seen on the. So you're going to write the body. Uh huh. Mostly the one between thirty to thirty-five. It depends with the level you're doing. Yeah. Uh, for a ones, they would like at least thirty ones. A two also around thirty words. Now, B1, uh, going ahead, now B1, they might want 80 words and above 80 words, yeah? ETC, ETC. So, how do you conclude a friendly letter? So, this is the possible, the first possible way of concluding your friendly letter. I could say, uh, I could choose to say, Alles Liebe, Alles Liebe, exclamation mark, and then your one name down there, only one name, because this is friendly. You could say, Alles Liebe, exclamation mark, and then one name, okay? Like in my case, I would say Alice Liebe, and then Fred. Or I could also say Beast Dan, exclamation mark, and then one name, Fred. After your name, don't put a full stop. Just write your name, no full stop, yeah? So Alice Liebe, exclamation mark, one name. Or I could also say Beast Dan, until then, exclamation mark, one name. Another possible ending is Beast Bald, that is Beast Bald, exclamation mark and then also your one name down there also the last ending uh, the last possible ending you could use is uh you want to say you was maybe in my case i would say you was fred i would just say dein fred dein fred but if if i was a girl maybe I, if i was dorothy i would say deine dorothy okay and that is basically the structure of a friendly letter. Remember, when writing it, please ensure you capture the structure well. How you begin the salutation. Number two, the, the, the body, as I told you, they will give you the points. Uh, don't worry, in the next video, we'll be seeing some letter type and how to answer it, okay? And then the conclusion. Before I begin marking your letter, we'll look at those three things. How did you begin? The body and also how you, you conclude it, all right? That is exactly how a friendly letter is going to be structured. The next video that is coming, I'll give us a sample question and also we will write together so that you see how to continue with it, okay? Well then, das ist alles für heute and I'll be seeing you in the next one. In the next one. Tschüss und bis dann.